I think everything is gonna be okay. I mean, you know, probably. I mean, Yuri said he could fix this, right? Well, I hope so. I mean, these are not good people to make angry. Well, it's not my fault. I just spoke my mind, and now they're threatening Zidi, and if we don't figure out this misunderstanding, they're gonna kill him. Okay, all right. No one kills Zidi. I'll handle. Follow my lead. So, you both know the plan? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. It's never a good question to walk in on. What plan? What's, what's going on? Your grandma's in trouble. What? What kind of trouble? It is, it's just a misunderstanding. Hmm. She had a major difference of opinion with a woman who has close ties to the Russian mob. Oh, my God, Grandma, what were you thinking? You have to call Uncle Sonny. Uh <laughs> No, Sonny. We'll handle. Problem, go away. Are you sure about that? Mr. Petrov is here. How do you know? Just stick to plan. Mm. <clears throat> Mr. Petrov, I hope I didn't come here. Please. <clears throat> Mr. Petrov, this is Brooklyn Quarterman and Lois and Gloria Sorulo. Good women. Hello. Hi. You. You are the crass loud mouth who upset my Petra. You think I. <clears throat> Please, let's all take a seat. <clears throat> Thank you for coming. I am sure that there is a way we can handle this uh, misunderstanding. I come here only because my beloved nephew used to take trombone lessons from you. And he plays beautifully. Oh, that is so generous of you, uh, Mr. Petrov. Um, I know my mother is very sorry for upsetting your wife. Uh, she's very passionate about bingo, but she knows she went a little overboard. Overboard? All I asked her to do was lower her voice. What Gloria means is that she apologized. Why should I apologize? I've done nothing wrong. Oh. A wasted trip. I am leaving. No, 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 you, you can't go. 